Hello, Boston. Thank you for joining us for part two of the Boston housing market, Facts versus Fears. This is not 2008. <laughs> Today in part two, we're going to be talking about home appreciation rates leading up to 2008 and leading up to 2020. Today is April 29th, 2020. I'm Shalay Camillo with Vital Source Realty, and I really hope that this video finds you and your family safe and well at this time. Hopefully you caught part one. If not, we talked about the economic recovery and what that might look like. You can catch those videos on our Facebook or um, Instagram pages or on YouTube. So talks of a, of a recession is heating up and a recession does not equal a housing crisis, okay? We are not in a housing crisis, we're in a health crisis that has become an economic crisis. Thank you, Steve Harney. <laughs> so what is home appreciation? Home appreciation is the increase in a home's value over time based on the fair market value of comparable homes that sell in that neighborhood, all right? And yes, over the past five years, prices have gone up and buyers have um, had a bit of a tough time in the last couple of years getting homes under agreement and getting, getting a house for themselves, right? But I just wanna give some perspective because while prices are growing, we do not have the same degree of appreciation that we had in the years leading up to 2008, okay? So let's compare the last six years to the six years leading up to 2008. Here we go. So as you can see in this graph, the red is 2000 to 2005, the green is 2014 to 2019. As you can see, and some would even argue that this was like runaway appreciation leading up to 2008. The appreciation was through the roof, okay? And look at the appreciation in the past five years, okay? It's been pretty steady, no crazy spikes and things like that. And um, this was happening despite the oversupply of homes at the time. So it's not like there was low inventory. There was actually an oversupply of homes at the time and this appreciation was still through the roof like this. In fact, if you look at 2017, which was our highest rate of appreciation leading up to now, it's not even equal to the lowest year in 2001 of 6.5%. Our highest year was at 6.4% nationwide on average, okay? And also I was talking, telling you about like the inventory in the years leading up to 2008, as you can see, we were definitely in a buyer's market and there was more than enough inventory. So it did not justify the appreciation being like it was, right? So let's look at some Boston data. So I went into my MLS and um, just wanted to compare 2005 and then 2005 and 2006, and also 2017 and 2018. So as you can see, these are based on single family homes in the Boston area. In 2005, the average sale price was about 472,000. The average sale price in 2006 was about 529,000. That is an appreciation rate of 11.9%, okay? Let's look at 2017 to 2018. Same thing, single families, Boston area, in Boston. 2017, 700, the average sale price of a single family home was 763,000. And 2018, 814,000, okay? The rate of appreciation between those numbers is 6.7%. So as you can see, both of those numbers are pretty much in line with what was happening um, nationwide. Okay, all right. So I wanted to do these, this video and I'm doing these videos because it's really, really important to have the facts, okay? This housing market is not the same as it was in 2008 or leading up to 2008 for many reasons. And um, people need to know the facts and that's why I'm do the, doing these videos. And please, you know, every bit of information that you get <laughs> whether it's from a family member or a friend or a headline, take it with a grain of salt, take it and, and, and really research that information. It's better to have the facts than to be e just emotional about what you think might be going on, okay? So my job as a real estate professional is not to make things seem better than it is and not to make things seem worse than it is. It's really to tell it how it is with the facts that we have available. And my job is to help my clients understand what's going on so they can make the best decisions with regards to their real estate goals. So as I mentioned in part one, Buyer demand and activity in Boston, Massachusetts, in Boston, Massachusetts, and across the country is up, okay? As we're getting used to the new normal, we're seeing buyers come out and, and 
going out to see homes and everything like that. So if you need to move, we have the proper protocols in place to do that safely and effectively like we always have. Vital Source Realty has always been a virtual brokerage and we have long utilized virtual services and technologies to help our clients buy and sell real estate and we will continue to do that. So I just wanna share um, a couple things that we do. So here are some virtual services that we provide. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but you can see them here and you can watch it on the playback. But we do virtual open houses, virtual um, um, showings, virtual neighborhood walks, virtual staging, video emails. We do lots and lots of things where we can practice social distancing selling strategies and still um, get our clients homes sold and get our buyers into homes and getting offers accepted, okay? I want to show you our showings protocol, and this is something that we have in place right now that we practice and something that we require that our clients and people who are going into our clients' homes practice. All right, so that is about it for today. Um, this, Thank you for tuning in. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions at all on any of this information, please reach out to me. My phone number is 617-379-3530. You can also reach me um, by email at chalet at vitalsourcerealty.com. And also, um, if this video was helpful, please like it, share it. Um, you may be getting this in different uh, formats because we kind of blank it and, and put it out there, but like it, share it, tag someone in it who may need to hear this information. Comment below if you have any questions at all. Please use us as a resource so you don't have to guess <laughs> and you can um, have this access to information, okay? See you guys later, have a great day and we will see you in part three. All right, bye-bye.